So take a guess, what item on the table I got at the auction? I got five items, I think, there. Which items I got at the thrift store and which one did I get at the antique market? What is good, YouTube? Adam over here from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. I bought some stuff to resell. I got some stuff at a thrift store. I got some items at a local antique mall here. And I also bought some nice antique items at a estate sale auction. So I had to bid on those items to get them. I'm gonna share with you what I got. So you wanna be an eBay reseller? You watch this video because there is some secrets that I'm gonna reveal about reselling and what to pick up. Let's get to it. And here is the table and the entire haul is on the table. Another week, another haul. This time, I think this week we got some pretty cool stuff. There was a very cool auction going on this week that I picked up some nice Mahjong set. This is a beauty. Some Pico Castor. Antique. Another ship lamp. Some cast iron. Waffle iron. Beautiful piece. We're gonna look inside. Of course, a camera. And a whole bunch of vintage decorative books. And these books, we're gonna talk about them first. And so this came out of the estate sale auction, an online auction, and there is about 41 books. That was two lots. Let me show you the auction invoice. But the books, I got them at the auction. International Library Books, two lots, $20 and $18 prime, 12% premium. So let's say $40 for the two lots and there is 40 books so a dollar a book so be on the lookout for these uh, books international collectors library that's a be on the lookout for these guys in the thrift store usually thrift stores have same price for hardcover books there is some good ones from there is all kinds of from this publisher uh, even red ones have international collectors library and blue ones so some of some people sell these books in lots and they sell very well as decorative books but there is some gems in here so i paid a dollar a book so first always be look out for this one even if it's modern edition pride and the prejudice uh jane austen so that's the international collector's library edition so this book alone, this one sells for $60. Let me show you on the computer. Here you go, Pride and Prejudice, 1945, sold in February. So just recently, this year, this month, for $44 US. So that's over 50, I think $60 Canadian for this book. And they sell very well. Um, here is some international uh, library books that have sold so look at $200 and these are lots that's the sold listings and from this year so there is a lot of 16 people sell them in lots uh, I, I might have to do that too with some of them but there is some cherry picks that I'm gonna show you that you can find and sell for more money and then lot the rest on average if you want to sell these books one by one they're about $20 each Shipping this book here in Canada, it's going to be $20, so might, might be a quicker sale and I need the room to load some of these books together. Pride and Prejudice, another good one. I already uh, did some research here. So the seven pillars of wisdom, another cherry pick from the lot. You can sell this individually. International Collectors Library, F another $50 book <laughs> and here it is seven pillars of wisdom that's the same book right there and it's sold for 40 dollars us 50 
dollars Canadian. Well, there's 50 and some change, but I guess this is your fees you're gonna pay. So you probably get $50 for this item in your bank. And then there and the rest, I can load these together, books of five for about, I, we can say 10 bucks each to move them. I'm gonna just double check if there is more. Oh, there's another good one here. Another classic and Gone with the Wind. So this book I always pick up if it's hardcover, no matter if it's this kind of edition or if it's newer, different publisher, if the condition is good and the price is right, like this is $1. Gun with the Wind, I always sold this book with different hardcover editions. And this is another good one from this publisher. And I think another $50 book for the Gun, Gun with the Wind, US, $50, 60, 60 bucks Canadian, 65 you can make. You can even ask more money for this one. Classic. And this one probably twenty dollar book. Uh, this is like a nineteen sixty three, so it's vintage. Nothing crazy about that one, but I want to show you this set here. That was in lot number two of the books. So this second lot sold for eighteen dollars, and this whole set in the nice sleeve, like a hardcover sleeve, was in there. Ah, it's a nice find. This is one of the best things here on the auction. Jane Austen and all her books and includes the Pride and Prejudice. But everything that she wrote. And this is pretty, I think, recent from the 90s, 93 production. Let me show you. This is $300 on eBay. I might even get more of that on Etsy or maybe sell it quick on Etsy. So here is, there is multiple souls on eBay. John Aston collection, and it's called Folio Society. 275 Canadians sold. The rest of the books, they're very nice decorative books. There might be some other gems, I have to research them all, but I might be loading the rest together. Some of these books have some damage on the spine, like something like this. So this book might be going back to donation. I might just resell the ones that have good spine. A dollar a book, that's a good pickup. So be on the lookout for these. You might find them at thrift stores, yard sales, in boxes, one dollar per box sometimes. Let's make room on the table. I get the books out of here. And we're gonna look at some of the other treasures I have here. Okay, the next item is right here. This is a nice 1930s Art Deco looking chrome metal ship lamp, TV lamp, TV stand lamp. Here is the switch. The insulation on these wires were, was broken, so I had to put some tape around them to quick fix it and plug it in, very old plug. The lamp does work, it was missing the bulb. I had to put the bulb in, you do it from the bottom. Uh, this was at the Waterford Antique Market Find, an antique mall. And this, I paid $40 for this lamp. It's a nice Art Deco ship. It has a number 403, let's plug it in. There's a switch right here, and the light comes on. Let's dim the light, see how it looks. Here is the ship, light up, that's your lamp. Very nice, nightstand lamp. So that was a waterfall antique market find. Another thing I found over there was this thing here. So here's another item I found at the waterfall antique market. This is a waffle iron. But it's two pieces, it has a, like a stove base and has the top here for the waffle maker. So they might be different maker. There's only markings on the stove plate, foundries, Nestor Martin, with bunch of numbers. I have no idea what these numbers mean, but this waffle maker, it's very nice. There is some age to it, some cracks on the cast. 
and inside it's very nice nice design as a bird and some flowers I have this up on Etsy for 350 bucks and I bought it at the Waterford Antique Market for $100. Here is my listing, that's the first picture there, and it's 350 bucks, antique waffle iron, cast. So let's go back to the table. So that's it for the antique market finds, so just the lamp and the cast iron, which is a very cool piece. And let, now let's look at the thrift store finds, basically bread and butter stuff. So first here is the camera, Pentax MZ7. Uh, I paid $30 for this at the thrift store. I'm waiting for the batteries to come in so I can test it out, but hopefully it will work. Working condition, I can sell this camera for $100. So it's quick flip, cameras don't last long, they sell very well and quickly. Next is also like the bread and butter item that sells quickly and is pretty cheap to purchase. This was like $6 at the Value Village. It's a nice porcelain jar with a lid, ginger jar with birds in a tree and flowers and it's made in Japan. And I sell these jars for about $40 to $50 on Etsy. They come in black color. They also come in like a blue cobalt blue different colors so they sell pretty good for about 40 bucks and at the thrift store i also got this weird looking mug with the pointy handle some picasso art on the outside picasso looking art style on the inside i paid like five bucks for this mug has a signature on the bottom 1980 i have no idea what it is but when i got home i took a closer look at this and it looks like it's made by an amateur. I don't know if it has any value. Maybe it, it is very valuable. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can figure out what the signature says. Davidson something, might be something good. $5 investment. Wow. From the value village. You never find one like this. <laughs> it's one of a kind get it at shippingvintage.com so here is the rest of the auction pickup these are the silver spoons so there you go there is some jeweler information here jewelers and the six ice cream spoons this will be perfect for ice cream tiny little spoons and they are marked with the lion for the silver they are marked with the lion there and I have to research the date based on these uh, marks, but these are sterling spoons and I got them below melt value for like $30. I'm gonna probably ask $250 for this set or even more depending how old they are. There were lots of old things at these auctions from the 1800s Victorian stuff. So nice, fine, nice box too. The clasps, original box that, that adds value too fake alligator ornate nice okay next we got some beaver beaver auction so canadian it's a nice antique brass bell canadian but look what it has on there it's a beaver so it's a canadian beaver bell Canadian beaver. You can't see the beaver that well though. But it's there. It's the beaver alert. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Rings very nice. Canadian beaver alert. Antique brass bell. So this bell was about $30 I paid for this. I like it. It's different. I can maybe get about 75 to 100 bucks for this bell, depending on the day. But I like this piece, old Canadian beaver bell. An old piece here is this Pico Cari. It has Victorian, it's very old. I think it even set the age at the auction from like 1900s. Red cherry glass. The glass, the, the red glass adds value. Ah, red glass or 
blue green glass that's where the money is but and this is old antique glass victorian i don't think that tongues match the color here is different color but look at the chicken feet yeah very cool i'm gonna sell it all together as i got it you can see it right there Markings there. Pico Castor, Pico Cruet, Cranberry Glass. I paid about $70 for this piece. And the soles are about 200 bucks. This is 200 bucks, best offer accepted. They go for about $200, these Pico Castors, jars, cranberry, blue glass, green glass. The more ornate, they can go even up to 600 bucks or more. Let's go back to the table. And the last piece here is this Mahjong game set. Very old wooden box with nice brass ornate design. Double handle here. It says Mahjong and they even throw in the action house gave me a free book, how to play this. But the book's newer. But this is old, from the 30s. Look at the drawers. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five drawers. So this is bone tiles made out of bone. Bone and bamboo. Bone and bamboo. And the last drawer has all the pins. And the dice there too, made out of bone. Nice set, so I paid for this, also about $70. And these have some good value. Here is a similar one. And this one, auction winning bid, only one bid, but it's sold for $200 Canadian. Just one bid. There's another one sold at a, some website similar one four hundred dollars again sold out of stock and that's for the us so these my junk sets these old ones good money and here it is that is my haul so umtaki my raccoon tail mascot good luck charm lucky mascot has sold today I found this guy in the plush section at Goodwill for like 50 cents and I did put him up for sale and it sold today on Etsy. The buyer paid $79 with shipping. Wobbly eyes, woo. <laughs> And that is the haul. Thank you all for watching. It's Adam from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. And you'll see me in the next video. Cheers.